Good morning, good morning, good morning. Best as doggy. Okay. Oh, stop it. So I've done my hair and makeup. Um, I have to shoot a few campaigns today, so I'm getting ready to do that, but um, I'm gonna eat some lunch. So I just pulled out this Snap Kitchen meal. These are um, pre-prepped meals. Hunter and I picked a few of them up this weekend, and a lot of them are Whole30, like already ready to go. So it's really nice when we're in a hurry and we just don't have time to cook or don't wanna cook because Whole30 is so much prep. It gets exhausting, so I'm gonna microwave this and eat it. I'm not obsessed with it, but it's pretty good. So today, I'll take you guys a little behind the scenes. Um, but basically, I am working with I am working with Lulu's on a campaign this month that actually is going to be. I'm working with them over on Instagram. It's not here on YouTube, but um, I feel like it's a good example of like kind of something that I would do as like a job, right? So. He reached out and because wedding season is approaching, they're trying to kind of push all of their wedding offering and let people know that they offer tons of bridesmaids dresses and wedding dresses and stuff like that. So they basically reach out and they're like, hey, Julia, um, we'd love to work with you. Would you be willing to take a couple of pictures in some of the dresses to let people know that we offer like basically like wedding attire? And I'm like, yeah, that'd be like so fun because I feel like so many of you guys always ask about wedding stuff because um, a lot of you are in kind of like college age or maybe just graduated college so a lot of you are kind of in that time frame where a lot of people are getting married and stuff like that so I have a couple of dresses that I have to take like photos in to post to Instagram so you guys can see them I'm gonna also do like post them on stories and stuff so right now I'm just kind of getting ready for that and I'm gonna steam all of the dresses because they kind of come wrinkled, obviously in the mail. So I'm gonna steam them before I shoot them. But this is one I love, it's super neutral. I picked out this satin emerald one and then two kind of pink options. So I'll show them to you just for fun, but it's kind of a day in the life. So I'm going to steam the dresses, then I'm gonna shoot the pictures and I'll bring you guys along behind the scenes. I just feel like so thankful that I have these opportunities and like I get to call this my job like this is literally my dream job you guys like um, helping like find things in fashion for people to buy and like helping style them and I just feel so lucky that I get to work with brands like this and like this is my job I love it so much and Honestly, I would not have this job if it weren't for you guys. So I really appreciate you more than you know and just like always hanging out with Hunter and I and supporting us and watching our content. It's just kind of how the job works, which I think is great because it's like, you know, everyone's living their lives and everyone has different talents and hobbies and specialties. And I think a lot of girls that do fashion blogging or beauty blogging or travel or whatever, like 
our what we're trying to do is like help people narrow down all of the choices and find something that works for them and i think it's just blogging is like another way for somebody to just highlight their gifts and talents and then be able to help other people just like someone working in medicine like i that's not my gift and that's their gift and they're helping me um someone that works in like i don't know insurance or banking or whatever it's like everyone has like their spot that they fit and i just feel like this is so my spot and i feel so happy about it like i love doing this kind of stuff it makes me so excited so if you ever see um, like an ad on my Instagram I always have to put hashtag ad or sponsored when something is like being paid for um, it I know like a lot of people for some reason don't like to like ads like they think it's like oh like they're getting paid or something but we are but this is my job and I really appreciate when you guys still support even my sponsored content um, it means so much to me and it honestly helps me in the future like get more jobs or people seem to like the post a lot and it gets interaction then they will hire me again so i can continue to do this so um really means so much to me if you guys still support that content when you see it even though i know sometimes it doesn't feel like oh it's not a picture of like me and goose and and uh hunter or something but it still means a lot to me and supports me just as much so um i'm gonna continue steaming and i'll see you guys in a second i'll show you how i shoot this okay i'm all set up i've got my tripod here this is going to be my background and then here's the first dress i mean actually look how beautiful this is i would obviously need to get it like in a real life situation altered just a little bit like on the straps because i'm a little bit more petite and short so i need it a little bit tighter but this is stunning so pretty and i know it comes in a ton of colors so this is really gorgeous I like the color too, really neutral. I also got a bunch of jewelry pieces that I got to pick out and I get to pick out everything, which is like the funnest part too because it's always like 100% my style. Really gorgeous. And this ring, oh, it's a pinky ring. I love that, so me. I was really excited about that one. This is the necklace I ordered. Oh, this is so cute. It's just like a little plain gold necklace with little rhinestones on it. So, which one do we think? Hmm. Let's see. Do we want a necklace on this or earrings? I don't know. Maybe, well, necklace would be pretty, but it just draws more like attention to this which is gorgeous, but hmm. Okay, so I've shot a couple pictures. Now I'm on my last one, but I have to like kind of, excuse me, use. I always like, kind of have to move the furniture around to get like the perfect little nook. So kind of want a little bit of this gold mirror, a little bit of the pink couch, and a little bit of the wall so you can see what I'm so I kind of just look at it through here and drop that down a little bit kind of have an idea of what I want test this out I have a little Bluetooth clicker so I can see by the way this is like definitely my favorite dress out of the bunch it's so pretty and flattering like i think i'm gonna wear this to the wedding that we have this weekend but i love it wait i met this girl when i was 12 years old give her everything just shot of the world could it get a grip every time i tried to hold on i slip deep in this feeling that gravity pulls me down i know i'm tripping i'm falling in love with the drum breaks she keep me safe from the gunplay when i'm hungry she feed my soul when i'm lonely she keep me company it's funny i used to want to grow older travel with sight in these rounds so they realize that she got me out of my mind i'm trying to kick these nerves to grab hold to the microphone got okay it's a little bit later and i got all of my campaigns shot so fun fact for my picture which would have already been posted by now so you guys would have seen it i actually did not drink any of this rosé it was purely a prop for the photo which was really sad and i really really wanted a sip but i didn't so here it goes all to waste 
so sad. Um, but I thought the wine glass was really cute because I feel like when you're at a wedding, like here's, I'll put the image here on the screen that I ended up um, getting for the campaign. But I feel like this is so like, you can really envision yourself in the dress because like you'd be holding flowers or like a glass of wine if you were like a bridesmaid. So I feel like it really like helps envision, don't you guys think? So sometimes things like that, like props are like necessary. Um, Cause I feel like they help give you the full picture so you can like really see yourself in it. Um, so, hi. We are going over to Hunter's parents' house to watch the, I think it's a championship football game. I don't really know. Um, I think that's what it is. It's LSU against Clemson or something like that. I don't know, I'm not good with football. Anyway, so we're gonna go do that and I'm probably gonna hang out with his mom and sister. Well, they'll watch the game too. We'll, we'll all watch it. I like football, but, um, and then we'll probably watch The Bachelor once that comes on, so. Yeah, but um, yeah, I really like football. It's just really hard for me to understand. Anyone else? Like Hunter played football in college, so he's like, how do you not understand it? Because I really enjoy it, but like it's very complicated. Like it's a really complex sport, which actually makes it really interesting, but I feel like I really have to focus to like understand like the plays and like everything that's going on, so. I'm just like blotting my face because I'm really kind of greasy right now. Just so I don't go over there looking like a grease ball. Okay, perfect, that's much better. Um, so I'm just gonna get on some shoes and maybe some another jacket over top of this, like a puffer and layer it. I'm wearing this cute little tie-dye um, sweatshirt from Miss Guided that came in today actually. My necklace is from Lulu's. It's actually really pretty. And um, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. And then just like my Goldie jeans. So I'll probably just put on something comfy, maybe some sneaks and then head over. So see you soon. So I'm doing a little Whole30 prep. I just thought I would just show you guys really quick. Um, so basically we got all these vegetables from Costco earlier this week, which I showed on Instagram. We just have like so many. So I knew I needed to cook them like before they went down. So, um, sorry, went bad. So I just steamed and roasted all of these and literally just mixed them all together. It's broccoli, Brussels sprouts, zucchini, green beans, mushrooms, and... That's it. Okay, so now I'm cooking a little onion and garlic, and I'm gonna toss all the veggies in the onion and garlic, and it'll give it like flavor without having to like have sauteed all of them. So, good way to kind of cut a lot of fat out, and it's just like for me an easy way. So, watch garlic and onion. This will give it a bunch of flavor. And literally just mix it all together. Mmm, that's so good. Okay, and there you go. So you could add some seasonings, more seasonings if you want. I kind of already salted everything. But now we can just toss this in with eggs in the morning. I'll probably have it for lunch, maybe over a bed of greens with some salad dressing and a little protein, but just like a good mixture to have on hand. Also been working on listing um, Poshmark stuff this morning, so I've been listening to a podcast, cooking, and just listing items because I'm trying to get all of my articles listed, so if you haven't checked that out, hit up my Poshmark to see if there's anything left. Okay, we're pausing for a little lunch break, and we just used the base of the veggies that I just showed you guys. And Hunter just whipped up some oh, eggs and a little ground turkey that we had left over to kind of put on top. So veggies and a little protein. That's what we're gonna have for lunch. Good to go. It's later in the afternoon and Hunter and I have just been working all day. Yeah. And he is just now finishing up the fire pit. Literally put the burner in. We still haven't put the coals on, but I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna test the flame first. And the gas, so I'm so scared for that. Rust. I'm like have anxiety about it. I just don't know whether I should be out there or you should be out there. I should stay with Goose in the house in case the gas line blows up. 
our house. It's not. It's fine. It, like, but listen, like accidents happen. Accidents do happen, but I've been following all precautions, and we got the gas line put in by a professional, and everything else was sent. All the parts, like I've done everything. Um, and yes, when you're using gas, you should have like a professional kind of like monitor things. Um, right. you should, but that's like in anything. It's like, oh, don't do, don't change your own light bulbs, like, or don't change your light fixtures. You gotta have an electrician come do it. It's like, okay. Yeah, but this is a little bit more extreme. Fire pits are already done. We just connected the burner to the like the burner plate to the fire pit itself, and we're gonna light it up for the first time. Just turn on the gas line, and you can see. I don't know if we have like turned this, but. It used to be just like this side where we connect a grill and we added this T connector and added this other gas line that goes into the ground out to where the fire pit is. And everything's connected, we're gonna light it. I mean, it would only blow up if like there's a leak, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Should I get closer? That way if it blows up, we blow up together. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can hear it. <gasps> oh my god, we have a fire pit. Oh my god. We didn't die. This is on my floor. We're alive, you guys. Wow. Looks amazing. Oh my god, we need to get our chairs out here. Let's do a fire tonight. Okay, he's putting the rocks in. Oh yeah. Those look really good. DIY restoration hardware fire. Okay, here we go. So good. Looks really good with the rocks. The rocks made it. Okay, so this is the moment we would want to have a glass of wine to celebrate this. And of course, we're on the whole 30, so. Bummer. No, I'm not, I don't like this whole 30. Uh, it just hasn't been this fun. It, it hasn't been hard, it's just not enjoyable. I know. I mean, like, I'm, I'm doing fine with it. I'm not too worried about, it's I'm not like boring. tempted to break it, but like, I want to, Sometimes a glass of wine is nice to enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. And tonight, it'd be nice to pull out the chairs for the first time. I and like, know. it's a perfect night. So like, I'm open to breaking it tonight, just to enjoy a glass of wine. It's like a lot of hard work has gone into this. I know. And so, same goes if I close like, you know. I know like, your deal. My deal. That would be end of Jan. And that would be perfect timing. about dinner time and Hunter is out there doing something on the fire pit I'm not sure putting some little final touches on it and I am throwing together dinner so I we went to Costco this week and we've just had like a bunch of groceries so I've just kind of had to get a little bit more creative I didn't like I meal planned the first week of Whole30 and now I'm just kind of winging it just because I'm finding it a little bit easier to wing it because there's really not much you can do because the ingredients are so simple so tonight I was like, what do we have? We have some chicken, we've got uh, bacon. I saw this like mayo and I was like, I kind of want something with like mayo. So um, just because like when you're not eating any sugar or carbs or anything, you like want a little bit more fat. So I was like, why don't I make us like BLTs? Cause we can have everything but the bread and um, sweet potato fries. So that's what I'm doing. I've got chicken breasts here. I'm gonna try and wrap them in these romaine lettuce leaves. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll see. We're gonna try it. We've got no other option. Using this mayo, some tomato, onion, and then I've got bacon cooking, and I'm just cooking the extra chicken for leftovers. So, and then I'm um, broiling my sweet potato fries right now. So we'll see how it all comes together. Fingers crossed, pray for me. Just like really, I don't know why this whole 30 has been so hard. Um, I don't know, I've like done it before and 
it's not that I don't feel good. I do feel good because obviously you're not drinking alcohol, you're not eating like crappy food, but I don't really eat like a ton of crap in general. It's really just like on the weekends. I feel like that's been the biggest kicker for us is not going out on the weekends and like eating out and like drinks. That's usually when Hunter and I like have a little fun and we indulge. So for us, I guess that's the biggest difference. But somebody was like, it seems like it's been really hard. Um, have there been any positives? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I guess like you feel good and like mentally you're like, okay, cool. But I haven't gone to that point yet where I'm like, hell yeah, like I have so much energy and this is amazing. I mean, I do, I don't know. I don't know, I've been kind of, I still feel like I'm getting through the hump, over, trying to get over the hump and get to that point where I'm like feeling really amazing. So I do, it's mostly just like the detox of the sugar and all the stuff you're not used to that makes you feel like crap. And I actually was talking to my sister because she's a gut health coach. You guys should follow her on Instagram actually. I'll put her Instagram handle here. She basically, she's not really like a blogger but she does, shares literally so much nutrition advice. She's obsessed with gut health. Like she is so into it and she, her content's super raw and like she just shares a lot of good stuff. It's very insightful. So if you're really into like gut health, you should follow her on Instagram. She does stories and she's just, Super funny. So she's the uh, hippie vegan sister. That's her. Um, so she told me that my microbiome in my gut, because your gut literally like forms bacteria like your whole life, depending on what you eat, right? So my bacteria or my microbiome is used to certain foods. Like I eat a little sugar, I eat carbohydrates, I eat the same things pretty like consistently, right? So she's like, when you literally cut them off from what they're used to, they're gonna have to like die off, but you're gonna have to wait a while till they die off and then new microbiome will form, but you haven't hit that point yet. So you're that's why you're feeling like all the symptoms, like you're tired, you're this, you're that, and everything. So that kind of helps um, me like, put it in my mind and like make sense of it. And it's just a waiting game. But on a like emotional level, it's been very challenging just cause I don't know. I feel like January is supposed to just be like a chill month, but I feel like we have so much going on. We've got weddings, we've got baby showers, uh, birthday parties, like so much is happening this month that I'm like, this was not the right month to be on this. It feels like, but I know it's a good thing all in all. And you guys know I'm pretty into like I, I like to do like healthy things, like it's fun and I'm usually pretty into it, but I don't know, I'm like just kind of having like a bad attitude about this whole 30. I mean, I'm not, but I just, some part of me tells me I'm not gonna stick it all the way through. I don't know why, I can't tell myself that, but I don't know, Hunter and I kind of both feel the same way. We're just both kind of like, this kind of sucks. Like it's just, we're not feeling the energy. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're just like, this is awesome. And we're just not feeling it. I don't know if it's the timing or what, but. I'm coating the leaves with like some mayonnaise. Uh, the Primal Kitchen mayonnaise, obviously. Just so it has something on it. Then we're gonna do, next we're gonna do chicken breast. Let's see, kinda like lay it in there. And then obviously some onion. Tomatoes, some bacon, and then I'm just gonna have us kind of eat it like that. I'm just gonna smash it all together. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. How is it? I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'm never really impressed by my own. Mm, that bacon's money too. Pretty good. But I do say so myself. Hmm. It might be my favorite meal we've had. That chicken bacon aioli. Mm -hmm. Makes you feel like you're not on the whole 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just ate dinner. So good. Julia mm -hmm. crushed the BLT lettuce wraps with chicken. It's something that's going to motivate me to keep moving forward because right now I'm like ready to go shit. You are? Kind of. You're unmotivated with it? Yeah. It's just because, like, I, was, I think I can pinpoint why you're unmotivated. Why? Or why you feel unmotivated. It's because you're having to work harder to not change much of your diet. Like you're not really changing your diet that much. I know, but they're it's actually not that big of changes. The changes aren't big. Well, but they are. I mean like the no alcohol, the no sugar, all that stuff. But like the recipes like lunches and stuff we're eating 
are no different. Really, I know, but you're having to work harder to come. That's why that I'm like, should I just get like some cream for my coffee and just do it, but just with a little cream in my coffee? Like, I would be really happy if I could sure, just have that. Do that, and then you know, then like that's the elimination diet. You figured out what you wanted to eliminate. Like, right. That's easy. You don't have to stress it. Because I could totally. I the eating is fine. Like I can eat this every night. This is great. It's just feeling like, oh my god, I can't have like the cream in my coffee and like... It's I'm all the technical things like, oh, is this yeah. the right oil? And it's like, those are things you should be cognizant of and I think we should eliminate those. And we have. And we can continue doing it. But like, the cream in your coffee, just... Here's the thing. What's the big deal with your cream in your coffee? What's your problem? I just like cannot enjoy my coffee if there's not... Like I've tried like sugar oat milk, it? almond milk, pea milk every set of kind of milk pecan milk and i don't like any none of them like i just need real milk i just like the texture the flavor the consistency just it like a two tablespoons oat milk is great i don't like it it still separates oat milk doesn't yeah it does it's just none of them it's just not the same okay so you're like to me. you're truly like that's not the same because I, I mean I, for me i drink my coffee black a lot of times so like i'm good and like if but I like, don't have a black, I can, I'm, I'm I cool know. with like a little bit of pecan milk or like what, anything, oat milk, anything. But I think it'd be good if I cut out other dairy from like my meals, but if I'm just having two tablespoons of milk in my coffee, like that's fine. Look, he's licking his bowl. You're doing Whole32, you Goose. It's the new year. Yeah, you're doing the Whole30. 2020 you're, ambition, you're Goose. cutting your portions back a little bit. <laughs> it's hard, I know. It's a hard life, Goose. I goose, feel you're your You're cutting pain. back those calories, Goose. Cutting those calories. Look, he's... Oh, he's by the pan. Oh, well. Only way to tell is by saying this how I feel and that's real.